this experiment, we will temporarily magnetize a needle and observe its behavior. For this we need a bar magnet, a needle, two styrofoam or thermocol balls, a cup or bowl wider than the length of the needle and some water. The first step in this experiment is to magnetize the needle. For this, rub the bar magnet along the length of the needle. Starting from the right, move to left and lift the magnet and start again at the right. Do not rub the needle back and forth with the bar magnet. Repeat this at least 30 times to magnetize the needle. Once the needle has been magnetized, attach the two styrofoam balls to the ends of the needle. This will help the needle float in water. Fill some water in the cup and gently place the needle on the surface of the water. You will notice the needle floats around and soon it aligns itself to the north. You can check the direction in which the needle is pointing using the magnetic compass. In magnetic materials like iron, individual atoms have their own magnetic field. A group of atoms whose magnetic fields are oriented in the same direction is called a domain. When not magnetized, these magnetic domains point in different directions. An item made of magnetic material like pin or needle doesn't always behave like a magnet because the domains are not aligned in the same direction. When the needle is magnetized by being rubbed with the bar magnet, the domains in the needle are magnetized and are now oriented in the same direction. This makes the needle behave like a magnet temporarily. In this experiment, the needle is acting like a magnet, including pointing to the north when floating freely. After some time, the needle loses its magnetic properties.